Hello again everybody, welcome to a quick instant action mission in the Flame Eclipse 3 Sukor 25. I'm going to fly this one called Sukor 25 Ground Strike, one of my favorite instant actions, and I'll give you a good rundown of the situation once I get into the cockpit. Okay, here we go. So the task is to take out some ground targets marked by Red Smoke, heading down the road from the town of Urton. I've got the Red Smoke in the town right there. I've got also two helos in there providing cover for them, and I've got the four vehicles right there on the road. Okay, so for this mission, and it's a mission that I fly quite often, it's the one that I warm up with prior to a Super 25 campaign mission, so I know what's coming. These four vehicles are more or less undefended, but I've taken up a wide variety of weapons. I have two types of rocket pods on the wings. I have two types of single shot, larger rockets also on the wings. I have a CVU, I have a general purpose bomb, and I have eight total FAB 100 smaller general purpose bombs. Those are the ones that I have selected right now. That's what I'm going to use initially on this first little undefended set of targets. So for this to work, I need to try to come in in line with the targets so that as I'm overflying them, I can just pickle off the bombs and the bombs will fall in the line of the target and take off more on one pass. Okay, those are those helos. I'm going to avoid shooting an air-to-air -air missile at them. I find that the track tends to desync pretty consistently with air-to-air -air missile shots, or used to at least. Maybe that was tweaked in 1.5. There was a patch note about that, but... Yep, until proven otherwise, I'm going to play conservative. Okay, so I've got my gun sight lowered. I've got air-to-ground master mode called up. I'm going to activate the laser designator. So I'm going to get some ranging information fit into the gun sight. I just need to come in here now and... I'm going to pickle twice on these guys. Coming in more or less in line. Overshot it a little bit to the right, but that's okay. This will still work. So, just letting the reticle walk on up. Okay, that'll work. I'll just make that... One little pass with four. I think that's going to be perfect. In fact, let me see how this does. <laughs> Not bad at all. Okay, that got at least... That had to have got at least one or two. Okay, two of them smoking. One definitely destroyed. I thought the one in the back was smoking, but that's okay. Well, I've got four more to go, so let me come around and... I'll do this from a little bit of a shallower dive angle. I'll come in along the two that are right along the road. And by using a shallower dive angle, that'll give me a little more, bit more spacing between these bombs. Okay, laser's still active. Just letting the reticle walk on up. Okay, now I'll push it up. Let me pop off some flare real quick and chap, even though it's not really needed. Okay, that was a good hit. That should have got... Well, it only got one, didn't it? But okay, and that puts me in a good situation to roll back in, in line on those last two vehicles. Boy, I'm... Usually a little bit more efficient than this on this mission, but yeah, just as soon as I decide to record it. Okay, now I've got the big pod. That's the uh, UV-32. It has S5 rockets, 32 of them total, so I have it selected. Now I'm going to just come back around, and since I have those two targets more or less in line, I'll have to offset it a little bit to the left and then roll back in. That should do the trick. Just one run with these. I don't need the sight glass down for this run, so I'll go ahead and raise it back up. So, coming back around. Okay, they're just off my nose now. I'm going to keep coming so that I can get these back in line. I'm going to pull the throttle in so I don't overspeed it. What am I up to now? Oh, not too bad. 530 was all that I, or 550 was all that I got up to. Okay, roll back in. Laser designator active to update the range and sighting information. Okay, this will work. Now again, just letting the reticle walk on up. I like in these cases to have just a little bit of back, back pressure on the stick. That gives me a little bit finer control over it, over it overall. Okay, so let's see how that did. Let me first break off to the left. And that didn't do the trick at all, did it? Wow, that, was that, that must have been a little bit long, I guess. Although, boy, it should have done something to that last vehicle. Okay, small warhead. These are smaller warheads in those than the ones that I have over out on the right wing. Let me give those a try. And this is why I always like to pick this mission just as a warm-up. That way I can try different weapons combinations. And I have a variety of different targets here, so I can also kind of evaluate the weapons effects as I go. Okay, coming back around, I'm going to try to set this up so I'm coming in in a line again. How's my airspeed? 500, that's fine. In fact, I can go ahead and pull the throttle back in a little bit. Now, laser active. 
we roll it back out to the right. I only have five missiles on this shot, so I'm going to kind of plink it all. Pickle once on the first vehicle, pickle again on the second vehicle, and again just walking the reticle on up. So, pickle, pickle. That was two rockets per pass. I'm off. It's so hard in the Russian aircraft to see where these things hit. Visibility is so poor. I have no idea still what happened there, but climbing out, coming back around, getting eyes back on. Okay, that did the trick. So, yeah, those are nice rockets. Not much life out of them. You know, you can only make really one really good effective pass using those. And two's calling out target and air defense targets 12, 11 o'clock for five. And that's right behind me back at the town. Okay, so again, I just want to line back up on the road. Now, let me take stock of what all I have left here. I've used all of my 100 kilogram bombs. I still have my CBU. I still have my larger rockets. I still have some rockets out there on the left wing pod. And I have also the big 500 kilogram FEB 500 to use. So, tell you what, let me go with the larger rockets on these. So, let's go with, go with the one on the left wing just to keep my weight a little bit more evenly spaced here. So that'll be the big S25 out there on the left wing. I'll pick a lid off. And I can do these from a fairly long range. And then I'll take stock of where I'm at. I may, might pick a lot of two on this pass, depending on what station it steps to next. Okay, so laser active. Coming in perfectly in line. And when, and when I'm not consciously thinking about coming in perfectly in line, I roll out perfectly in line with the target. Okay. So I'll try this at max range. Once I get the red light, and once I know that I'm aligned as well, I'll pickle this guy off. So just right there in the middle of them, lead them a little bit so that they'll keep coming. Okay, what did it step over to? Okay, it stepped over to the left station, the FAB 500. So yeah, I won't pickle that one off, but I am getting shot at by some unguided AAA. I'm popping off some countermeasures. Not, not that it's doing any good. It's just making me feel better. I <laughs> no, no hits on that one. Okay, so I'm going to have to come around here and come up with a slicker way to do this. Now, what else do I have here? I have CBU. Let me go with some CBU. That's on the right wing. That's the rocket. That's the CBU. Okay, RBK. Yeah, RBK 500 CBU. 500 kilogram, I assume. Okay, got Tally on the helos. Although, again, I'm not going to worry about it. I've got three vehicles right there in a little bit of a cluster. So that's where I'm going to put this CBU. I'll keep climbing. I'll keep the throttle pull pushed up since I'm down to 400. I thought I was going faster than I was there. I will lower the sight glass, however. I'll go active on the laser. And I will roll in. See how effective this thing will be for me here. Now, let's roll out. Just going to start with the reticle short of the target. Wow, way short of the target. It's a little sloppier than I intended. Okay, and I'm just going to put this thing right in the middle of this group here. Okay, let it walk on up. Pickle. Off. Countermeasures, just because it makes me feel better. And you never know what's there, especially in these last Sukor 25 campaign missions I've been doing. Okay, so that was a good hit. I got at least one of those guys, but it didn't really get into the middle of the group like I wanted. It was a little bit long, although I've got two smoking. Okay, that's fine. Okay, what else do we have? I've got... Still that big pod out there. I've still got... Oh, let's see here. I've still got that other big rocket. I'll save that for the next wave, though. I'll go with the... I'll see if I can make this um, outboard rocket pod, the UV-32, with the S5 is effective. Okay, I've got the last two in line, so this would be a good opportunity to roll back in. I'll pop the side glass back up. Let me reacquire here. I've kind of lost myself. Okay, there we go. Let's go laser active. And just like I tried before, I'll try to plink these guys. I'll pickle on the first one, reset, and then pickle on the second one. I've got to do this from a fairly long range because I know that one of them is going to be firing back. Okay, let's go with the first one. Oh, come on. Second one. Okay, got some rockets off on that one. Countermeasures out. And let's pop up. Okay, good hits. Now, wait a minute, that's the wrong group. Doggone it, one good hit. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, let me switch over to the gun, and I'll see if I can make this effective. And the more stuff I shed, the more fun it is to get into a climb, because uh, obviously the less weight I have, the more responsive the aircraft becomes, and <laughs> the more aggressive I can fly it. 
Okay, so coming back around, I've got the gun selected, do I not? Okay, now I've got the gun selected. Yes, I do. Okay. Let me roll in on these guys. It's going to be kind of dangerous. If I take this guy out, I'm going to be over flying where I know this next group is going to spawn from. But that's okay. I'll take the chance on it. Okay, laser is still active. Okay, set it up. A little bit of back stick pressure. Just walk it on up. I've never... I'm just not accurate in the Suko 25 gun at all. This is a tough gun to get pinpoint hits with. See what I mean? Boy, that's... That drives me nuts trying to fire the gun in this thing. Because the bullets, they don't disperse like I'm used to in the A-10. You just... If you're off just a little bit in the A-10, the... Well, the bullets will disperse a little bit and you can still get a good hit. In this, you have to be dead on the target. That just makes it harder to get a good hit. Now, they come back around as I saw those helos in there. I need to be a little bit more careful. Although, they're no, they're no threat at all in reality. This two's passing underneath me now. Okay, let me just sit up on this. Just fly smooth. Smooth control inputs. I'm going to stay off the rudder and just do some little bank corrections. Okay, banking right. And yeah, that little nose down tick. Boy, gun in the Sukhoi is hard. For that reason, I'm going to switch over to rockets if I have them. Although, no, I think I'm out. I'm going to have to come around and do another guns pass, I guess. Oh, okay, that did get the hit. Okay, final group is going trying to play in their more heavy, heavily armor. So this is armor and air defense. It's Zeus 23, I do believe, coming in. And I've got them coming out of the town now. So what else, what all do I have left here? I'm down to... I'm down to a... I'm down to a rocket and I'm down to a bomb. So, boy, this was not very... Well, it's about average. I usually get about halfway through this group before I run out. I was hoping to make it all the way through for once. Okay, two's hit. He took some triple A fire. I was thinking about trying to get two engaged, but that's okay. Okay, let's go laser active, and I'm going to fire this rocket from long range. I have them now. Let's see here. I've got... I can't classify them out here this, at this range. I'll just fire up the lead vehicle. I want to do this as far out as I can. Let's bring the reticle on up. Let it walk up. It's waiting for the red light. That's a light off from Triple A. I'm kind of concentrating, so I take no action. Okay, now I'm going to dump some chaff out. I'm going to break off left. Dump a little bit of flare. And that's fine. And now by flying kind of not directly at the Triple A, high deflection shot like this, I'm fairly safe uh, at this point. I've got nothing really to worry about as far as Triple A guided or unguided getting hits. As long as you don't fly directly to it or directly from the AAA, and as long as you keep moving the aircraft around, don't fly, you know, don't fly predictable, don't fly just straight and level once you're off the target, you're not going to get hit. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, just, uh, I feel like I've been lucky <laughs> so far in a lot of the missions, but, you know, as long as you keep moving and you use your head, you're going to do fine. So at this point, I'm just down to my last bomb, aren't I? Well, I guess I gotta make this one count, so let me see, what do, what do I want to take out here? Okay, I've got the AAA, that's the one closest to the road, and I've got a couple of, I don't know if this is armor or not, I really can't tell from this far out, but I'll drop this bomb on the AAA, even though, yeah, rolling it on AAA sites, not a very smart thing to do, but I'm going to do it anyway, just to, just to practice and just to see what happens. That's what I use instant action missions for, is to figure out how far I can push things right here so that once I get into a mission I can know the difference between a good idea and a bad idea although I know from experience this is a bad idea okay laser active acquired a chaff out although I think I'm out of chaff pickle let's break off right put some G on the aircraft don't be predictable, kick in a little bit of rudder, keep it uncoordinated, keep it hard to tell for the guys shooting what I'm doing and what direction I'm planning on going. So from here, drop down to the deck, some more chap, if I have any chap left. And that took out something, didn't it? Apparently not the AAA. Okay, I've still got a Zeus right there to the left. I've got a truck to the right, so... So I'll tell you what, folks, that's it for weapons for me. However, I do have a couple of air-to-air -air missiles, and I just saw those 
confounded hinds back there. So what I'm going to do is pop back around, fire a couple of these guys, and call it good. Hopefully this doesn't completely crash the the track, so I'll be able to get a good replay. But yeah, I'll end it with a little bit of. It'll be cool to see the new smoke effects too that we have it in, in 1.5. Okay, coming around, I'll try to pick off both these guys. Okay, I've got one right there. Okay, lock, fire, and I'll fire the second one, break off to the right, and I'll have a peek to see what happened there. It's like my downfall. I always have to have a peek, even though I know it's a bad idea. I got one of them. That's fine, though. So, folks, I'll tell you what. That's all I got for this mission. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.